हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न ऑप्टिक्स एंड वी विल स्टार्ट विद डूइंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो राइट देम डाउन ऑन ए पेज सो दैट यू कैन सेस देम इजीली आफ्टरवर्ड्स
Okay, so we will start with now questions of one mark first. First question is velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Find the velocity of light in water. We are given mu as 1.33. So we will write the formula mu is equal to c upon v. And after putting the values, we will get our answer. Try to do them on your own with your hand. Don't just copy it out. Answer is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Take care of the units. If you don't write units in the answer, you will be deducted by half a mark. Second question is power of two thin lenses is plus 3 diopter and minus 1.8 diopter. Two lenses are put in contact. Find the focal length of this doublet. So we will write the formula of the power that is P is equals to P1 plus P2. After the putting all the values and keep in mind all the signs, we will get our answer as 1.2 diopter. Now we know that focal point and power are related as F is equals to 1 upon P. Now we will put the values and get our answer. Again I am saying please keep in mind all the units while writing. Third question is moon is quite small in size than stars. Even then it appears big than these stars. Why? So the answer is moon is closer to earth therefore its visual angle is more than the distant stars that is the only answer we can give for it in an attempt to get a picture of a zebra a man pastes black paper leaves on the lens of his camera and takes the photograph of a white horse will he get the picture of zebra answer no he will get the less intense picture of the horse only what type of lens is an air bubble in water answer since refractive index of the surrounding medium, that is water, is more than air and is less than 1 and convex shaped air bubble will behave as a concave lens. Can a single lens be free from chromatic abrasion? Answer: No, it has to be a doublet lens of two different materials. What do you mean by linear magnification? Answer: Linear magnification is defined as the ratio of the size of image to the size of the object. I will be soon posting the second part of this video as I can't complete all the questions in this one video. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.